And so let's talk about the normal constraint. The normal constraint works more like the uh, like the geometry constraint and most of the other constraints which we've seen. But the only difference is that the object is constrained to the normal of the parent object. So for example, if I go ahead and select this torus and then select this sphere and go to the constraint and go over to normal and let's just go ahead and just reset all the settings and say apply you would notice that once i bring this object directly towards this one and start moving it it is going to be constrained to this parent object so i want you to see how this object just generally rotates around this object while we have it in there in most cases you actually need the geometry constraint for you to be able to to work with the normal constraint and how that works is uh, quite simple i'm going to go ahead and just select this and go ahead and select the child and go to the constraint and uh, just select the geometry constraint you can see with the geometry constraint turned on our object is just constrained just to the geometry and you notice that there is no rotation happening as we go around this object well, if we come through and select this object and go ahead and select the child and come back and select the normals let's quickly just come through and reset this and apply and say okay you see that this object begin to fly through and stay within the positions of the normals of the parent object and this is how you use the normal constraint and if you have questions about this please ask in the comment section down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe peace